Oh, hello everybody. Today we are making our first Japanese recipe. Tonkatsu. Tonkatsu, it's a Japanese breaded pork loin. It's one of my favorite foods of all time. The thing I've always been scared of or intimidated by in making this dish is the fact that it's deep fried. No matter how many times I try just deep frying just ain't my thing. Like what the hell do you do with the oil afterwards? It splatters everywhere, all that crap. And maybe I'm just being a big baby. I need to figure it out. But we live in a wonderful time where air fryers exist. So we're going to do a science experiment today and see if we can't make tonkatsu in an air fryer. I'm super excited for this. It's just out of this freaking world, man. Far out, dude. So anyways, let's just pitter-patter and let's get at her. Bing! First thing that you should do is that if you're going to be eating this with rice, get that started right away. I'm doing just two cups of rice and I'm gonna rinse this really well until the water runs clear and then I'm just gonna throw in the rice cooker. I always make more rice than I need to because I love having leftover rice for fried rice too, so just a pro tip. So while it's going, we're gonna first start with our batter. One third cup of water, half a cup of flour, and one egg, and I have these nice shallow little plates here that I'm going to be using as my stations. If you don't have something like this, go ahead and just use like a baking tray. Those work excellently too. So we're just gonna combine everything into this plate right here. We're gonna be taking a little different approach because typically you have your flour, your egg wash, and then your breadcrumbs. Today we're actually going to combine the egg and the flour so we only have two stations. So we will have a batter and then we'll have the panko breadcrumbs. And this is, I'd say, maybe about a half cup. We can Always add more in. Set those off to the side. So we have two pork chops here. Oh yeah, you hear that? Just gonna do a good amount of salt on top, help us tenderize it, okay? Then you're gonna grab some plastic wrap. Okay, we'll move this off to the side and we'll just put this one right in the middle. And Oh. Ideally, you'd want like a rolling pin or a meat tenderizer. I don't think we own a meat tenderizer and I can't find the rolling pin. So my big ass knife here, I'm just gonna use the dull end of it and just start smacking it. You're gonna vigorously beat your meat. That's pretty thin. Yeah. This tenderizing piece is absolutely essential. Tonkatsu is iconic for having thin slices of meat, so do not skip this step. At the edges of the meat, there's like this line right here, and this is part of the tendon, so we need to make some cuts in it, otherwise it's going to curl up, and we want it to remain as flat as possible, so just go along the edges here and just give it a nice score at the end here. It doesn't have to be super precise. I went a little too far there, but that's fine. Those are our pork pieces, and let's get ready to dress them up. Grab your pork chop, just dunk it in, and really make sure the batter gets in. And then you go into the breadcrumbs here, okay? And so we'll just, just kind of push the panko in. And take your time here, you really want the panko to get everywhere. So I'm gonna wash my hands quick because I'm already running out of panko. I'm gonna get some more on. Get a little bit more on top. Be generous. It's freaking breadcrumbs, for God's sake. We're just gonna throw that straight into the air fryer basket and just put the tonkatsu straight in. Tonkatsu is a childhood favorite of mine. Even though it is a Japanese food, it is still very popular amongst Koreans. Literally, any time I was able to get to a restaurant that had tonkatsu, bet your ass I'd order it. So now we have the tonkatsu in the air fryer basket. Try to make sure they're not overlapping. Grab some cooking oil, spray some on top to help with the crisping. We're gonna put this in the air fryer at 350 degrees Fahrenheit for 20 minutes total. Flip it after 10 minutes, adjust the cooking time as needed, obviously. Start off by making a tonkatsu sauce now. You can buy pre-made tonkatsu sauce or you can make your own. I've never made my own, I've always wanted to, so that's what we're gonna do. So start off with about two tablespoons of butter, two tablespoons of flour. We are doing this on medium-low heat. We're gonna start off by making a roux, which is basically just butter and flour cooked together. We're just going to be cooking this until the flour itself turns brown. So just make sure you stir constantly here. And actually, this it's two flours, so I'm gonna add a little bit of oil to it. You can always make roux with oil too, so I'm just gonna 
put about a tablespoon's worth. Tonkatsu sauce is pretty similar to barbecue sauce. It's just a little more umami and a little sweeter. So look how brown that's getting. That's a good color here. So now, go in with a quarter cup of ketchup. Three tablespoons of soy sauce. A tablespoon and a half of rice vinegar. And then three tablespoons of brown sugar. And once it's all mixed, a cup and three quarters of water. And we're just going to do half of it at a time. So just pour in a little bit. And let's really try to stir it in all the ingredients into the water. Look at that. To kill the heat a little bit. And then pour in the rest of your water. Actually whip out the whisk here. It's a whiskey business. And so we're just going to let this reduce down just a bit. About five minutes. It's going to give the tonkatsu sauce a little taste here. Mmm, that's really good. You can turn off the heat and then we're just going to add a couple of cranks of black pepper to round it all off. Tonkatsu sauce is done. You can set that off to the side. To serve, I do a bowl of white rice. Put it in the bowl and flip it upside down. Top with a little of sesame seed. And then, typically you would use coleslaw or cabbage, but I don't have it right now. The show must go on. So we're going to use some arugula. Top that with a little drizzle of mayo and a little bit of some of that tonkatsu sauce. And then, the main event of tonkatsu, place sat down, give a generous drizzle of the tonkatsu sauce, and enjoy. Holy crap, I'm so ready for this. Oh, it smells so good. Tonkatsu. <laughs> Do you like ASMR? Listen to this shit. Oh yeah, that's when you know it's good. Oh my god. Oh, look how easily that cuts. It's so tender. Oh. Mm. Mm. <laughs> oh my heavens. Oh, it's so good. The meat is so tender. It just works so well with the sauce and the mayo and just like holy buckets, you guys. I can't get over how good this is. Here's the ultimate bite, right? You take a bite of the tonkatsu, have some rice, and then have some salad. Right? Mm. Salad. Forget about it. I'm so happy right now. Usually don't do it with arugula, but this really works. Wow! I made this. What the hell? And by cooking it at a lower temperature, the pork still was very juicy while the outside got so crispy. Mm. I want to eat the rest of this off camera because I, I just want to enjoy it. And yeah, thanks so much for watching. Please let me know what you want to see next. Please like, comment, and subscribe. Thank you, Desu. And I'll see you next time. I still need this napkin. I'm not gonna throw it. So bye.